Hi, my name is John Gibbons and today we're going to look at doing the stalk test, also known as the Gila test. Before we actually do the test, it is best to check the position of the innominates. We place our fingertips on top of the iliac crest to make sure they are level, which they are in this case. If one side was higher, let's say the right side, it could indicate a true long leg, it could indicate an anterior rotation, it could also in indicate an upslip on that side or even a weak glute medius on the same side. When we do the test, we place our thumbs initially on the left and right posterior superior iliac spine and then if you want to test the right side, we palpate the right PSIS, we bring the left thumb onto the roughly the second sac sacral tubercle and we ask our patient to stabilize on the left glute to slowly lift the right knee towards their waist and you're looking to see if the thumb travels posteriorly, medially and inferiorly in respect to the second tubercle and the answer was yes it was able to do that so it's able to see if it can posteriorize itself on the right innominate so the innominate rotates posteriorly in respect to the, the sacrum so it's that sort of motion to test the other side bring the thumb onto S2 the thumb onto the PSIS we asked the patient to stabilize on the right and then we ask him to lift and we're looking for the left thumb to travel posteriorly, medially and inferiorly. And if the answer is yes, it can on both, then that would indicate that each innominate is able to posteriorize itself on the sacrum. Now, a positive test. Now, let's just, let's stand on your right leg, please, and lift your left leg up. If you notice the thumb didn't come down and medially, like so, and it, it fled superiorly, so it's more cephalic instead of caudal, then that's a positive sign on the left side. And relax. And that would indicate some iliosacral dysfunction on that side. And that would be known as the stalk or the Gila test. 